that's the most important element of growth is not speed. It's what I do is when I find out what their problem is, then I get clear on who solved it. Then I reach out to the people that have solved that problem for themselves or for others many times. And I put them in a, it's normal for people in the hot seat to cry yeah, in these I sessions. Cause you've got seven to 10 people that are had people. Adrian Brambilla had his first million dollar day from this. Million dollar day. Yeah. From coming Hello. out from one of the, Hello. Tucker Max transformed Tucker the direction. Max. He transformed the direction of his business. Every month I've been doing these and people come out and they're like, that was the most important business meeting of my business career. What's up, beautiful people? This is your boy, Tommy, checking in today. We got a really great uh, episode today. Uh, I got my guy, David Gonzalez, on the line. And look, let me tell you all before I even, you know, um, get too fun into this. I've been knowing David many years. Uh, one of the most connected people that I know in this game. And I've been in this game, y'all know, for a long time. I'm 17, 18 years at this point. And I want to say we probably met, I've probably been knowing you at least a decade, I, I want to say. Minimum. We met at Affiliate Summit way back when you were still in the in the lead gen. Not Affiliate Summit. It couldn't have been Affiliate Summit because I never went to one. We met at a, ah, I feel I like we met was. at like Traffic and Conversion Summit. I thought it was Affiliate Summit, didn't you? you San you, Diego? Uh-huh. Yeah, but maybe I was just remembering where we met. Yeah. It ain't no, it ain't no, it ain't, I, I, I'm. I think it's a traffic and conversion summit. Okay. Uh, for sure. But because I've never been to an affiliate summit. So it couldn't have been that. You know what I'm saying? But I want to say it was affiliate. I mean, uh, I'm saying affiliate summit. I want to say. <laughs> See, now I'm going to hypnotize you. Conversion summit. Right, right. Well, I know I've never been to an affiliate summit. So that's on, that's on the thing. So so anyway, super connected um, for many years, you know, internet marketing party. You know, had some of the dopest, most intelligent killers, seven figures, eight figures, nine figures. I don't know if you had no billion, you had any billion dollar generator. I think. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we had, we had, we have, we've had, um, uh, Austin Distal from, uh, Jasper on our stage. Nice. So they, they've got a billion dollar plus valuation. Yeah. And then Craig <laughs> Clemens, I think you had. Yeah. Him, he, Craig right? Clemens is a billion dollar. generated over a billion dollars in sales. So, uh, so yeah, 10 fix. So seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right. Um, yeah. so, so super dope. Uh, you know, so I just wanted to kind of kick that off just so y'all know who we're it's talking about. And we got some really cool that we want to share with you guys, um, today. So you want to hang tight for that. So David, that's what I'm going to say. I introduce you. I'm going to let you, you know, kind of speak for yourself real quick. Can I, can I just say that the main reason to watch this podcast this interview is the three main things that i like to talk about are number one the biggest element uh that matters the most in growing a company that i've learned from uh 13 years of hosting these private closed door uh experiences with the people that you were just saying yep. like these seven eight nine ten figure business owners i've done a a, a thing with them that i've done every month for 13 years Yep. And if you're interested in growing your company, it's going to surprise you what I've learned there. The second thing I want to share is um, what some of the biggest wins that that I've learned from being a super connector and how most all marketers get it wrong as far as how they think about building and growing their businesses and how I've seen the power of this thing that I've seen that has allowed almost every single person that I've seen go to like seven, and eight and nine figures, they all leverage this. So if you all want to get access to that, keep listening. Man, that's, that's, listen, you, you just said something, right. You know, saying super connector, right. That's probably the best way to describe you in, in a short way. Um, and it's interesting that you landed on that. And so what I love to know is like, did you like, if we go all the way back, because like you said, you know, because my thing is helping businesses scale too. Like that's probably where we kind of connect that where we've, you know, we've been around these businesses that have scaled. You know, we've helped businesses scale. I tell people all the time, I'm not a starter, I'm a scaler. And 
I can't, I know the insights you got is insane that we're going to get into, right? But when you say super connector, was that intentional? Like if you go back to the beginning, like what, what kind of got you on this path in the yeah. first place? Sure. Because it feels like that's a natural thing for you. Absolutely. I'll, I'll, I can, I can distill that very quickly. Number one, I used to have, uh, I've always been an entrepreneur. Like it's always been in my blood. And my first million dollar business was, believe it or not, a hypnotherapy business mm. that um, uh, we, we would, uh, I ran that for nine years, had a staff of 12. It was the same kind of business that Rich Sheffern and Harlan Kilstein would run. It was gotcha. part of a bigger uh, organization and I won center of the year one year, but like that business showed me the fundamentals of how to run because brick and mortar businesses are hard to run with right. actual employees. Yeah. So I was able to sell that business right at the peak of where it was running, which we would run full page ads in the newspaper. This was pre internet, right? Yeah. That I'm dating myself here. <laughs> and um, when I got so that business sold, the internet was just coming up and I, didn't know what I was going to do next. I had money and I had time. And there were these people that were doing these things called uh, internet marketing. And I didn't know what that was exactly, but I picked up a copy of Tim Ferriss's four hour work week and a buddy of mine named Michael Lovitch, who I had known. I, since, know I had known Lovitch for since yep. I first moved to Austin 27 years ago. And this was before the internet and or the internet was just getting started. And, um, he was running a company called the Hypnosis Network that was doing millions of dollars. And I had sold a business that was in the hypnosis space. He and I were already friends, but I was kind of paying attention to what he was doing. And I told him, hey, I'd like to learn more about this four hour work week stuff, about lifestyle and lifestyle businesses. And he said, let me introduce you to my friends, Kevin Wilkie and Matt Gill that run Nitro, Nitro Marketing. Yep. And that's how I got into this space. And so I didn't know any, I didn't know HTML from Hotmail. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know email from, you know, I just, it was all just blurry, but I got connected through J through Nitro marketing to the biggest Frank Kern, Mike Phil same. Uh, I got connected to Ryan uh, Dice, Perry Belcher, Joe Polish, Yannick Silver. Cause they, they had oh, been geez. affiliates for all of these people. And I, I, I just, they wanted me to come help them doing an affiliate manager job. And I didn't even know what that meant, but they right. knew that I, they had interviewed a bunch of people that had a bunch of experience in the industry. I didn't know anything, but when they met me, they were like, this guy is, he knows how to, he knows how to people, gotcha. you know? And no so way. they brought me in to do this affiliate manager job and I didn't get it, but I was just talk to people and say, Hey, uh, do you know, Ryan and I mean, you know, Kevin Wilkie and Matt Gill and they go, Oh, I love those guys. They've made me so much money. And basically they, I got the halo effect of, you know, Nitro had made them a bunch of money and now I was a representative of them. And now I was gotcha. connected to all the biggest names. And so at some point, we would go up to Dallas and go to their monthly meetup that they would do in Dallas. And we're in Austin. It's like three hours away. And we would go to that thing and it was awesome. Uh, big names there. And one day when we were driving back, it was me, George Rivera, Jordan Hall, uh, Steve Gray, all killers who have gone on to do 10, Massive, you know, yeah. 10 figures in business. And they were like, we should do one of these in Austin. What do we drive to Dallas for every month? And somebody said, David, you should do it. And mm. somebody told Eric Louvier that that I was going to host one of these. And he went to the Warrior Forum and said, hey, anybody who wants to come to Austin for the first, uh, we called it Amen back in the time. It was Austin Internet Marketing Entrepreneur Network. Wow. And, uh, I never knew that. That's yeah, yeah. Crazy. And so that's how we got started. And so because of that, we started, it was, it was fun the first month. I was like, let's do it again. And after the third or fourth month, L Lovitch said, we should get, somebody to come and speak and we should build a big email list. Cause at the time, Jeff Walker and some of these guys, Ryan, Frank Kern, if you had a hundred thousand email subscribers, you could make a hundred thousand dollars a month yeah. promoting launches and stuff. So that was our original plan. 
And the next thing I knew, it turned one month, turned into one year, turned into five years, turned into 10 years. And every month for the last 15 years, I've been putting somebody on my stage. You've been on my stage. Yep. Uh, Craig Clemens been on our stage. Ty Lopez has been on our stage. Uh, uh, Jay uh, Abraham has been on our stage. Ryan Dice, Ryan Levesque, you know, Liz Noah Kagan, crazy. like yeah. you name it. They've all been on my stage and it's uh, it's created a beautiful world for me where I get access to things that people normally that are only multi multi millionaires get access to. And um, it, it's really? been a really nice ride. And I've learned a lot. I can only imagine. I can I can only imagine. But I'd love I, to share I, some of that with your audience, too. Yeah, we want to get to that. But I think one of the things where I kind of it's kind of like, um, you know, I, I wonder, like, what compelled you to kind of even go in that direction, right? It's, it's almost like it's almost like you felt like something was bringing you to that, number one. And number two, you you into that. And then from there, it's like something had to click at somewhere, right? So it's kind of like just trying to bridge the gap between that. So, you know, so we get into those things, but it's like, what's... Was there like a thing that really just drew you to this internet thing that just was like the light bulb? It's just like, I got to go do that for you even to end up in there, right? Because you talking about hypnotherapy and, you know, whatever the case may be, you're like with the internet thing, was it I mean, like a- I think where you're I going is me, I, when I read Tim Ferriss's 4-Hour Workweek, it, yeah, really right. it really shook me and it made yeah. me go like, wait a minute, yeah, I, I, everybody's working to get to retirement so that they can do their dreams. Mm. What if I could figure out what my dreams are now yes. and do that before I retire? And that's what attracted me to the internet. That's, that's what I thought. So, so that book really like reshaped your mindset around it and just made you be like, man, I gotta do something about this. Yeah, I think that book has impacted millions yeah. of people. Uh, of lives. course, of course. Yeah. But I think it also goes to say, right, like when you, when you're convicted about something and you act on it, it's you never know what it could lead to, right? Because now it's like, I got to go to this internet thing. One thing led to another, led to another, led to another. And now all of a sudden, seven-figure, eight-figure, nine-figure, ten-figure business owners are in your Rolodex. It's kind of crazy when you really think about it, right? Yeah. Um, so at some point during this internet marketing party thing, how soon in that process did you knew you were on to something? Was it immediate or did it take you a while before you felt like, I think I got something? Um, or was you know, it that's a, a great, that's a great question. The best way to answer it, it would be more like a roller coaster. Mm. Like I, I, at the beginning, I wasn't looking to be onto something. I was looking for something that could be, that would lead me to something. Does gotcha. that make sense? I, yeah. I knew that because I had money and I had time right. from selling my business. Selling. Right. So I wasn't in a big hurry, but I, I felt like the internet was where things were going and I wanted to be in the right room, but I didn't have the internet success to be in the right rooms. So I stumbled upon creating the right room by bringing a speaker into a room that would attract the right room. Yeah. Okay. And I did that long enough that one day I woke up to the fact that I had gone through all the money that I made from selling the business. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't aware of that because I used to pay my credit card bills every month yep. when we were running the, the hypnotherapy business, I would literally keep a zero balance keep a zero belly, yep. every month at zeroed out every month. And that was a habit for eight years. And so when I sold the business, I knew in the back of my mind, ah, I'll figure something out. And then, yep. the, and then I, it was one of those things where I thought it was going to take me a year to figure something out. And then I had three years worth of living from the business sale. The next thing yep. I knew, it had been three years. Yeah. And I woke up to, it was like the frog in boiling water versus the mm, frog in lukewarm big, water. Big. And, and all that to say, what matters here is... um. I didn't realize I was onto something until I was broke and scared and depressed and realized, oh, I'm sitting on something. 
but then it didn't ha- it by that point i was like starting from zero again mm. if that makes sense because now i had the awareness it's kind of like not knowing that uh, that there was something wrong, but there is something wrong. I just didn't know it yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, I've been there. And and then I, I'm aware that something like there's a big bad monster yep. coming up, and then I'm like, oh shit, yeah, I gotta I'm run. run. Yeah. And now I'm in like run mode, and yeah. I'm not in like. But at least now I know, and at least I know like when to this case it would be like I have legs, I have a good heart, and I have energy to run. Yeah. Right. So like. That's when I knew I had something, but I was like in do or die mode. And then mm. when I finally got to like some level, some level of like, okay, things are okay. Whew, um, I knew I had something, but I didn't know how to make something bigger out of it. Right. So and how long I, in were how long in were you when you came to this realization? How long had you been doing it? I think probably about four years. Wow. Was there a person that came along that showed no, up? No, it was it like was me mentor. realizing I'd run out of money. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But but even still, like, was there someone that came along in the business side of it that really allowed you to kind of take it to another level, if you will? Like, who oh. was the, who you was know, that? I've had a lot of people come into my life that have helped me take things to another level. I've had, you know, I've had people in my life that have been mentors to me, like Ron Lynch. I'm like about to Dom, say, let's show him some love. Yeah, Dom Luzzi, uh, Michael Lovich, Kevin and Matt, uh, at, at uh, you know, Yannick Silver. He's introduced wow. me to some of the biggest, most influential people in my, in my world. Brad Costanzo. Um, Brad. Gon- Gonzalo Paternoster, who's somebody who I've partnered with for quite a few years. And had a huge impact in my life. So has uh, Dane Maxwell. So has, uh, I mean, Dane's just always seen me. Um, uh, C.T. Shank, the founder of uh, Opus. I mean, I've had some 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 incredible people throughout incredible. my life that have served as mentors, as friends. Tom Shipley, uh, Alex Sharfin, wow. John Morrow. Wow. Uh, Jenna Phillips Bradford. Uh, these are some crazy uh, names, y'all. By the way, he name dropping big time. Y'all need to go search some of these people. These are amazing, uber successful names he's dropping right now. Yeah, Jenna, that, that Jenna Phillips amazing. Ballard. I called her Bradford for some reason. Um, oh, okay, the, like the the folks that have come through and supported me. Uh, I've I've gotten support from Ryan Dice, Perry Belcher, uh, yeah. Roland Frazier, Roland, yep, Jesse Elder. Um, uh, Josh Lee. I mean, like, and it's cool because this this building this network has made it to where there have been times I called you for support. Absolutely. There have been times I called Justin Brooke for support. Absolutely, and vice versa. <laughs> Dan Rose, like, yeah. yeah. So, which is the OG? I tell people all the time. That's my OG. People, because people know me for the YouTube, you know. But he's like the guy that was the guy for me. Like, still to this day, like he's. The guy, like, if I'm the OG, he's the OG to the OG. Dan Jonathan Rose, like, Herbert. Jonathan, <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, yep. He's, been, he's a partner of mine for a few years as well. Jim Walters. Like, so many people. Demetrius so Bazukos. Wow. Man, I could go, like, maybe this that's what this thing is. Oh, here's a, here's, a, here's, a, here's a writer downer. Right now, if you're watching this, take a moment and commit to yourself that before you put your head on the pillow tonight, go to sleep. You're going to make a list of at least 10 people who have positively impacted your life, whether it was a grade school teacher, high school teacher, college professor, a next door neighbor who mentored you, uh, a a, a, an ex boss that you've worked with that, you know, you worked under uh, doing it. Big brother, big sister, um, co-worker, colleague, business partner, mentor, friend tour, make a list of at least 10. And then commit to yourself that you're going to write, pick the one that would be the easiest to write a, a text message or an email to, uh, or even a voice memo yep. and do it and have Otter in the background and just say, Hey, Jesse, I just want you to know that you're on my mind and the person I am today and the success that I have in my life, you've been a building block in making that reality. 
here's what you've done for me. You showed me what's important about having mentors. You showed me the, the power of having a, a coach that's been steps ahead of me. And you believed in me when others didn't. And I just want to put a smile on your face. I do not want you to reply to this message because I'm not looking for reciprocity here. In fact, I urge you, do not reply. Don't say thank you. I just want you to own this and feel it on the inside. Because the moment you say thank you and the moment you reply, you're dissipating the, the good feeling. Man. This is a gift for you. You get to hold it and keep it in your heart. Man, that's amazing. I actually wrote that down. I need to, I need to do that. I mean, because it's very, it's very important, right? That, you know, mentors is everything like, you know, trying to figure this game out on your own, man, it's tough. Like I tell my clients all the time, like I got two main objectives, you know, when when we're working together, number one, I have a superpower and I want to use that to help you maximize your results with that. But I also have the second part of that is I also have weaknesses, but because of the network that I've accumulated, my job, if I don't have it, this is not my strength or my superpower. My job is to go find that in my network and bring that to you. So there's value in, you know, that when you come from that perspective. And that's kind of what I hear you hear you talking about. Maybe you can, you know, speak on that, you know, really. Yeah. Quick. I mean, I think the simplest way to put it is um uh have you heard of uh coach uh um what is it called? Um Coach, uh, strategic coach, strategic coach, Dan and Sullivan, Dan, right? Dan Sullivan, right? Dan Sullivan has a book with his co-author. I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now, uh, but it's called "Who Not How." Who not how? So everything in your life that you're trying to figure out in your business, whether it's your marriage, whether it's your parenting, whether it's your health, whether it's your business, or whether it's even your 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 happiness and who you are as a human being if you're trying to figure out how to fix that i encourage you and i invite you to think who in your world do you know that has this specific piece figured out in spades not only if we were talking basketball are they in the nba but yeah. they've got seven rings yeah you know Robert who Orr. in your life has <laughs> I know it's every <laughs> exactly who in your life has figured out whatever it is you're trying to figure out around relationship around work around family around you know uh Business. health or around yeah. your connection to source or 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 anything else and or even if it's somebody you know that knows somebody because you might not Cause sometimes I struggle with that. I'm trying to land on who do I actually know, but I also have these people like you that super connectors that I don't do a good enough job of saying, well, I got some people, certain people that I know, they know everybody. And if I needed to find out who the person is and I can't think of them, I can connect with that super connector person and they can point me in the right direction. I and have done that. You know, I don't utilize it as much as I should, but I've absolutely done that. And Tommy, you want to know something? If you were to call me any freaking day of the week, yeah. any time, if I yeah. saw your name come up and you were to call me with a bit of vulnerability and say, hey, DG, I, I just want you to know I, I've been banging my head on the wall trying to figure this out around your marriage, around yeah. your health, around your business, around your parenting, around friends, around more than likely it would be around business, but even if it was about any of those things and you say, I know, you know, everybody, yeah. I would just love to talk to somebody around that that's mastered this, yep. you know, like for example, if you were to say, Hey, you know what I really want to figure out is I want to figure out how can I bolt on my expertise onto somebody else's business. That's all that has the same customers as me, but but they're not, they don't know what I know. And they've got tens of thousands, if not millions of people that are my customers, but they're following them for something else. Maybe they're following them for operations or they're following them for hiring or they're following them for social media management or they're following them for uh, becoming yeah. a YouTube influencer. But I know traffic and I want to figure out who has done a bolt on for how to do bolt ons for for people who have the same audience with a different product. And I'd be like, well, you know, I know about, I know some people like that. 
and then I'd re I'd, I'd connect you, you know? So that's a, thank you for ho- helping co-create that. No, that's, that's the name of the game, right? Cause it's like, you know, we, we've, we've, we've had these types of conversations over the years and, you know, that that's kind of what it is. Like I, I led off at the beginning, right? Like one of the most connected people that I know, like I probably will go back in my phone and put super connected by your name because, uh, you know, you're one of the most well connected people that I know in this industry. And I've been around for a long time. So, yeah. so I know can, like, can, can, can you put a pin in what you're about to ask? Just give me sure, a keyword for sure, it. Cause I want, sure, you got, sure. what's a keyword for it? What you're about to ask? Uh, transformation. Okay. Transformation. We'll remember that. I want to say one thing before we move on from this. And that is know that people who are really, 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 really good at things like the seven ringers, whether it's in marriage, whether it's in business, a specific piece of business, they almost always are really good at that because they're passionate about it. Not just because they're naturally good about it. And they've reached a point in their life that the only thing that brings them as much joy as that thing that they've gotten so good at is getting to share it with people who are really, really at a low point in their life around that thing. Um, it's real. And so I encourage you to, when you reach out for support at whatever you're struggling with the most that you know that the people that are the best at it they love to share because they've they've reached a point in their life where they've either got money figured out and they've got team figured out and they've got time figured out and at that point the only thing that makes them still really feel deep fulfillment is being able to sherpa other people up that same mountain a hundred thousand percent a hundred thousand percent Okay, Which, transformation, unless you want yeah, to. Yeah, because I, I know we were talking about the internet marketing party and, you know, we didn't really go super in depth on that. But, you know, if you want to share a bit about that, but I know that there's this transformation that is coming as a result of that, that's leading you to this next place where you're going and you're leveraging the connections you have, you're leveraging the experiences, you're leveraging all the things that you've seen in what, 13 years you've been doing that. Mm -hmm. That's really, really powerful that I really want you to be able to share with people. Um, So if you want to talk a bit more about internet marketing party, we can, but but I know that that leads to the next thing. Yeah. 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 I mean, hosting internet marketing party for the last 15 years has been the most amazing thing because every month I've gotten to, hang with a seven, eight, nine, or even 10 figure entrepreneur, founder, marketer. And um, I've been able to weed out who are the people in the business that are just really value driven versus who are the ones that are just make money and that do it by way of like themselves rather than really adding value. And what I've learned is that about well, about thir- about two years in, I was the thir- for the past thirteen years. Every month, I've put together a speaker think tank. Meaning, yeah. I asked the speaker, "Hey, and this is going to lead to the what? What's the most important element in business growth?" Right. I asked the speaker a month or two in advance, "Hey, what's your biggest challenge? What's the thing you're struggling with the most that 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 if you solved it would be a seven figure win?" <laughs> And when they answer, what I go is like, well, do you know anybody who's solved that problem before? And they go, well, yeah. Now, if they say, no, no, I don't, no one's ever solved that. Then I, I say, well, let's pick another problem because, because if it's unsolvable, then, you know, that's not a really problem. That's a, that's a <laughs> dilemma. Yeah, <laughs> Not a dilemma that that's a, uh, you know, it's not a real problem. Right. And uh, so what I wanted to say is, Every month I've done this for 13 years. Yeah. What I've realized is that we people, the fastest, the most important element of growth is not speed. It's clarity. Yeah. And the reason that I was able to figure this out is because what I do is when I find out what their problem is, then I get clear on who solved it. 
Then I reach out to the people that have solved that problem for themselves or for others many times. And I put them in a closed door, invite only, three hour, I call it a think tank. And it's basically a focus group where you get a, a ratio of five to 10 people to one person. person. And that one wow. person in the hot seat for three hours, these experts, they get competitive yeah, because yeah. for the first hour, all they can do is ask questions that are clarifying questions. What have you done? What, what have you wanted to try but haven't yet? What worked? What didn't work? How many people on your team? What are your annual revenue numbers? What were they last year? What were the year before? Where, did the, where does that money come from? What is your profit margin? How many people on your team? What are their roles? What's your expenses? What's like, they like go deep, right. man. I've right. had people, yep. it's normal for people in the hot seat to cry right. in these I sessions because you. you've got seven to 10 people that are really good at solving your business problem. And now they're like going in for the first yeah. hour. They can't just come in and go, here's what I think you should do. Because right. then that creates that hammer nail problem mm -hmm. where, you know, when you're a hammer, everything's a nail. And all these yeah. experts, they have their way of doing it. Right. So what ends up happening is these experts love coming to these things because they get to see how other people think that are at or above their level. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Um, and so when that happens, they get so excited about what the right solution is that they can't give the solution until that first hours happen. And then when that second hour kicks in, we all take a, a restroom break and we come back and we're like, it's solution time. Yeah. And they're so excited and they start may the best idea win for whose idea is going to be the best for getting this to happen. And guess what? By the end of it, the person's been drinking from a fire hose and they've got this perfect strategy action plan. They're like, I like what Tommy said about this part of it, but I love what Ron Lynch said about that part. And I never thought about doing it the way Dan Rose wants to do it, but Justin Brooke put the cherry on top. So I'm going to take this Lego pieces and make this thing that's mine, that's perfect for me. And I've had people, Adrian Brambilla had his first million dollar day from this. Million dollar day. Yeah, from coming Hello. out from one of these. Hello. Tucker Max transformed, Tucker the direct Max. he transformed the direction of his business. I've had like, I mean, every month I've been doing these and people come out and they're like, that was the most important meeting of my business career. That's amazing. I so, want to, I want to make sure that we understand like these people that's in this room are like here, like these aren't, these aren't some just, you know, random, you know, people that can't like, these are people that really, really are uber successful. No, this is like Craig Clemens, Roland yes, Frazier, Ron yes, Lynch, yes. J, like Ty Lopez, like big, big it, deal, big level. And, and sometimes I'll, instead of inviting like Alex Hermosi, I'll invite, if somebody's wanting to get, get their YouTube strategy down, I'll invite the guy that built Ryan, uh, uh, his name's Ryan that originally built, um, Ryan McGinn? Alex. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, the one that, Ryan? He's the one that that started no many years. Yeah, yep. he started uh, Alex's the short forms and stuff. Yeah, Man, I, actually, came up the I actually spent some time with Ryan and his partner. I'm trying to call his name Luis. I think we were in D.C. and man, they pulled a laptop out and was showing me the numbers. It was insane. Uh, you know, different people that they work with. Hormozzi. I don't know. If, I don't think they showed me his, but um, they showed me like people that they were dealing with. One of the guys, I won't call their names, but was getting like a hundred million views a month. It was insane. Yeah. I mean, they literally was showing me the analytics. It was crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But that's just showing to the point of when you said yeah. some of these names are so big and I started yeah. listing off names that are familiar, yeah. but sometimes I'll bring in the people that are for, behind the, behind big the name scene. That are re responsible for doing the thing that the big name gets known for. Yeah. So, yeah. No, nah, that is that is amazing, man. That is amazing. So every month, I know you're saying you're doing the the um are you doing this with the internet marketing party? You're doing this separately, like oh like thanks for asking. Yeah, because I'm trying to, you know, if people want to know, you know, because I I've been in one of these things before. I've been in maybe more than one um 
So I, yeah. I know I know what you're talking about, but I think now you're taking it to another level. So I'm just trying yeah. to like, how do people find out about you know more about this? Because I, I want to. Yeah, I think what you're what, what you're alluding to is the fact that I've only ever done these for guest speakers at Internet Marketing Party and uh -oh. uh, back in December. I was at our 15th year anniversary for Internet Marketing Party. I have a coach that said, hey, I really think you're doing a disservice to the marketplace by only offering this to speakers at the party. Whoa. I think there's people out there that that are running a successful enough business that if they if you curated one of these think tanks for them, it would allow them to have a seven figure, eight figure lift in their business. Like they're struggling mm -hmm. with something that they don't know how to solve. And the only solution for them is hiring a coach, a consultant, yep. an advisor, or joining a mastermind or doing a group coaching. And, and none of those solutions I just said are going to give you what a think tank does, which is right. a think tank puts you in a room with five to 10 advisors mm -hmm. or yeah. consultants or coaches that are now competing for the best Different. idea for you. Exactly. So you're not dealing with one idea. Yeah. And for the first hour, they all together figured out what, what's the best for you. And so I decided to go ahead and, and, create this thing called the three day think tank three day think tank. and if you go to three day think tank.com you'll see that now i it's by application only and a lot of people say oh it's by application only but as long as the application looks like you know if you have enough money you're <laughs> you're is in the number three or the written is it spelled either out one will work either i made, it, work. I made it a point <laughs> No, 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 no. So it's fascinating what you said, though. You kind of ran past it, but I want to pull back real quick. You said, I had a coach that told me, you know, I'm doing this industry a disservice by not offering this to other people. Man, kudos to coach. His name's that's Joe Salty. That's, that's amazing. Like, you know, I've had that happen to me a few times, you know, it's particularly from now, I've had it happen to me before, but a few times from people that I respect. And typically when that happens, it's like, yeah, I probably got to do that. It's almost like calling you out without calling you out. Um, so anyway, I don't know. Maybe you can expand on that real quick, because I think it's important that people understand, like, you know, there's levels to this game, right? And, you know, the reality is, you know, Regardless of what level you are, there is another level. And when you surround yourself by amazing people and you receive the things that they say to you, you know, um, man, that's so powerful, especially when you, you know, your your ears are open and your heart is open to receive and you 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 execute on that, which is what you have done. But it's like, you know, you kind of skated past that. That's almost like mindset, which I'm not a big mindset person, but like. Man, that's pretty incredible. I don't know. I, I, I would love for you to speak on that a little bit more if you can, because I just think it's important yeah. lesson that people yeah, I think, need to pick I th up on. I think what, what he was pointing to is the fact that I spend so much of my life and my career uh, in, in this industry um, connecting, adding value, and doing what I've been doing on autopilot because I've, I've been hosting Internet Marketing Party every month for as long as I have that he looked at it as like his job is to show me my blind spots yep. and a blind spot that he saw is that like, there's this thing that I do. Cause I told him I wanted to like double my, double my income right. as part of his coaching. And he said, well, instead of going, and my idea was to go out and start or buy a business that I could scale because my current business isn't very scalable and uh the the way it is and so he's like well let's take a look at what you already have yeah. and he said you love hosting events you yeah. love you have an extraordinary network and you love doing these think tanks for the guest speaker so not only do you already have all the makings of something but there are people out there who either don't want to speak at internet marketing party or you only do one a month. So it's not like, you know, like they might not be candidates or qualified to speak at internet marketing party, but they're running a successful enough business that they could use a think tank. Yeah. So how can you get them one yeah. and have it be a win for them 
a win for the experts and a win for you. And he's like, if you put 10 people in a mansion, an 18,000 square foot, 10 bedroom mansion with a heliport, helipad and a hello and uh and pickleball courts and Uh you know like game rooms and stuff now you could curate 10 experts per per think tank attendee that we call them navigators Navigators. and if you charge them like you know some reasonable amount like right you know he said like you charge 10 grand you know something like that and then still Wait, so you saying I'm gonna get you a million dollar outcome for 10k? Yeah, I'm thinking it'd be more than that because I was about to ask you because I know my audience probably listen like what the cost would be on something like that or whatever yeah. the case may be. Yeah. But it's like you're saying you know we're looking to get you a seven figure outcome from this experience, and we it's only by application, I, Tommy. I promise you, I've I mean, had you ain't gotta I, convince I've had, me, but you know we speaking to the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, 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 me. like. I'm, I'm putting saying my name on the line. I, I mess with you heavy. I was about to say I fuck with you heavy. I probably should have just said that, right? Because my audience knows, you know, I drop me off bombs. But like, bro, like you one of the most, you know, genuine people. I, you've never been different, switched up. You've always done everything you said you were gonna do. I have no doubt that if you say it, you know, I, I believe it. I mean, that's just your track record speak for itself for me. You know, when it comes to, you know, our relationship. So yeah, I don't yep. need convincing, but I'm going to say it, you know, from my perspective, you know, for other people to hear. And I don't do that. You know, I ain't really one of these people that's out here, you know, putting my name, stamping on somebody. That ain't that ain't really my style. But for you, 100 percent, I'll do it because you have been consistent. And that's a big thing for me. I like people who are consistent. You know, they don't change. They don't switch. The energy is the same. Like all of those things. Like every time I seen you, been around with you, hung out with you, reached out to you, whatever the case may be, you know, and that's rare out here in this game, man. That's really, really rare. So, you know, um, just so you ain't got to try to convince me, I'm going to say it for you. So there you go. Well, thank you. Thank you. And what I, what I also wanted to add to that is when I say by application only, what I mean is, like if i i've got to be able to understand what your business challenge is correct and know that you know even if it doesn't have a million dollar lift but it's at least going to make you 30 to 50 to 300 500,000 dollars more Boy. for sure as a result of solving that problem yep. Yep. then i've got to now know how many people are in that how many people are in the the category of people who have solved that problem yep. and then i've got to make a list of those people and go okay how many of those people do i either know personally or can i easily contact and or get somebody to contact and invite them to come and be an expert yep. and then get them to commit to being mm-hmm. an expert and then um and then basically getting them to come like it's it's a process like it's not just somebody just pays me and by the way the 10k is where i started it's uh, the one in the one i'll be doing in march is 10k the one in june will do these quarterly the one in june will be 15 the one in september will be 20 and then in december it'll be 25k and they'll just keep i'll I'll leave it at 25k as as uh at that don't say that maybe maybe who knows right yeah, who knows? Because I literally just spoke with um, Jonathan Kronstadt, this the ex CEO of uh, Kajabi. Kajabi yep. And by the way, he said hi. I told him. I told him about you. Yeah, and I just dropped the. Uh, they just dropped my course on Kajabi. So yeah, Kajabi. Great so partner. he, you know, he had a solid nine figure. I think ten figure, nine figure exit, and personally. Mm. And he's he's now working with chief alignment officer with Chris Daigle as the CEO of that. And essentially what I found out from him is he said, David, what you're doing here with this three day think tank, I think you need to start uh, doing two different layers where there's layers. people who are going to have a, a, a five, six or seven fig, a five or six figure lift. Yeah. And there's people who are going to have a seven and eight, eight figure, figure lift. lift. 
because there's people who are more in the like, hey, I'm running a five hundred thousand dollar to two million dollar business Correct. versus I'm running a five to twenty million dollar business. Right. And okay. the experts you're going to need to curate for these two different groups are going to be It'll different. Be different. And there's nothing wrong with charging fifty thousand dollars for somebody who's going to have uh, or more. Like imagine someone who's saying, I want to exit my business and they doing. 20 million a year and they might can get a hundred million dollar exit, but they don't understand and navigate that. And you can bring people in the room that can help them navigate that. How much is that worth? Yeah, no, worth not just people who can help 50 grand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just people who can help them navigate it. It'd be a matter of putting Absolutely. people in the, putting people in the room that have navigated, navigated that. It. Absolutely. Multiple times. times. Yeah. Either yeah. as them, them, yeah. they've sold multiple of their own businesses yep. or they have brokered doing m and a acquisitions and they M&A. got relationships with people and it's yeah. insane man and now these people are all in a room for 3 hours yeah. to freaking like just yeah. ask That's questions insane. and like they're competing for who's going to have the best way to help you sell your business That's insane sound like a tv show too Yeah sound like a tv show could be can be can be bolted onto that that that's that'd be insane so I got one other question, one, one other one before we get out of here. Um, mm-hmm. Is there like a minimum threshold? Because I know some people might you know, be interested in this. I'm sure they're going to have other questions, what have you. But the big one that I'm coming up with right now is like, is there a minimum threshold that that your business should be at? And then um, is there are certain types of businesses that may be good and maybe not so much. Maybe you can expand on that just sure. a little bit. Sure. I would say the minimum threshold would be probably at least half a million dollars a year. I mean, because uh, for two reasons, one, you know, the minimum as of right now, somebody wanted to come apply for the March one is 10 grand. If you're making less than half a million a year, chances are 10 grand is going to be a pretty big, you know, I mean, it's not a lot of money if you're making more than half a million a year, if you're making less than that. I don't want people to be doing this as their last hope, even though it could be their last, like it'll take them over the fence because it always does. But I don't want to be in a situation. I'm not trying to, this is, that's not what this is about. I understand. And and then the second reason is chances are like, we want to be able to support people with improving what they've already got. That's working rather than trying to get somebody to where they're up and running. Like this isn't really for newbies or people that are trying to figure out their business. There's people who have a business that's successful, but there's some thing they're, they're trying to figure out. Like this would be like, Hey, I've got a business partner. I've got the ability to triple my growth, but I've got a business partner who I don't really see as like they're hooked on drugs or they're having family problems and they're not really being present in the business anymore. And how do I, I don't really want to triple the re- this business and have them just along for the ride. Right. You know, and, but I want them to and win. Then, 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 like, I actually know somebody like that right now. <laughs> yeah. And so basically this isn't about screwing over that person. This is like, yeah. it doesn't make sense. It's- like, how do we do this such a way that that person still wins, but like, Hey, this business is transforming into something different yeah. and it doesn't. Now that's one example, right? I could right. bring in people that are good at conscious decoupling of business partnerships where everybody's yeah. happy at the end of it. Yeah. Another example would be like, Hey, my business is very affiliate driven and I want to do paid traffic. So I'd only bring in people spending over a million dollars a month on paid traffic in their niche. Another thing is my business is so paid traffic driven. I would d- don't ever do any affiliate stuff. I want to do an affiliate. So I would only bring in the best people at affiliates. So I want to figure out my YouTube game. I would bring in a bunch of like, but not, not like social. I want to figure out my paid YouTube game. So I'd bring you in, I'd bring Dan in, I'd bring Alaric Heck in, I'd bring, you know, or, Hey, I want to figure out my organic YouTube. I'd bring in, Leon Hendricks, I'd bring in Kyle uh, Lasota, I'd bring in, you know, a bunch. You could get it. So it's I like. Get the point. And then is there like a certain type of business? Like, you know, I know you mentioned, you know, e commerce type businesses before. I know, you know, obviously information type business, coaching, consulting, things of that nature. Are there any types of businesses that 
probably lends itself well or and then are there any types of businesses that may not lend itself well uh, that you could speak on either or or you maybe, know maybe not um, maybe it's a case by case thing yeah it's a case by case thing and at the end yeah. of the day the application is not it's only like six questions and two of the questions are what's your name and what's your email and what's your phone number. (laughs) Yeah. So it's, it's not like the app, the, the online application is just to get us on the phone. And I've been starting to get enough influx that I, I I think I might start charging a hundred dollars for the application that I'll refund you if you're not a good fit. And if you are a good fit, I'll put that towards Towards the thing. thing. Smart. But uh, I, I don't have a charge for it yet. But um, that's something actually Jonathan Kronstadt gave me the idea on yesterday. Mm -hmm. He said, I want you to model Frank Kern's uh, one man millions uh, Mm. sales letter. And because essentially what you need to do is make a situation where people realize that they could genuinely have a seven figure lift by getting on a phone call with you for pennies on the dollar. But um in order to do that, you don't want just every Tom, Dick, and Harry um, answer, reach out on you. an application. Absolutely. So Absolutely. This way, you know, people are genuinely serious and they already know it's going to be, you know, at least 10 grand. And, you know, yep. I was like, that's Makes genius. Sense. Cause the way I was approaching, it was really, really different. And um, yeah. So if anybody listening right now is interested uh, also, if you're interested in being, uh, a sponsor because the people we have at this next one coming up in March are Keala Kane. We've got two eight figure uh, e-com experts. We've got uh, Lee Josh Lee that is a LinkedIn expert. We've yep. got yep. Um, uh, Jeff McPherson and Matt Farmer. They used to yep. they used to be partners at uh, at Grow Rev, and now they've yep. started an artificial intelligence agency where they come into your company and automate the the jobs of the people on your team so you're now the people on your team can be left to shine in their genius Genius. instead of doing all the shit they hate doing and it's automated and so they're doing over a hundred thousand a month in less than four months of starting their wow wow and they're all the people i just described they're coming in as the navigators they're the ones that are getting think tanks And now I've got five to 10 experts per person. The experts I have coming in are Ron Lynch, JJ Virgin, Tom Shipley, a hundred million dollar exit, Dane Maxwell. Yeah. Uh, I've got uh, Scott Ruick coming in. I've got Deanna Rogers, who's partnered with Roland Frazier. I've got, um, man, the list just goes on. Ryan, Ryan Dice, uh, Alex, Alex Sharfin. Yeah, uh, like yeah, these are the people that are be coming in to serve as experts. That's amazing. So if you want to be in a, in a, in a, if you as a as an a, environment, as a sponsor, if you would like yeah. to be in an environment where all of these people are in a, a an eighteen thousand square foot luxurious Jeez. mansion, yeah. this mansion is so beautiful that Lamborghini unveiled their most recent car here last year. Wow. They could have done wow. it anywhere in the world, and they did it. At this of course, point. they Lamborghini. That's insane. It's called the Gatsby Mansion. Wow, you can, you can look it up. Gatsby Man. Mansion, Hudson Bend, Texas. Hudson, and there's a Bend. picture of it on the three day think tank dot com. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna look that up. Uh cool, man. So three day think uh three day think tank dot com. Oh, one more yes. thing. Sure. Dot com. Uh. One more thing, I this for this March one, I'll be doing something that I've never done before. I got the idea from doing the last three day think tank. A couple of the navigators said to me, you know what? I think I'll come to another one of these in the future. I don't know that I'll need a think tank and I don't know that I need to stay in the mansion. Mm. I can stay at an Airbnb nearby. Right. But I call those experience. They were like, you should offer experience passes. That'll also be by application only. Smart. Um, and and I'll only offer 10 of those. So I've got a few of those left. If any of your audience experience would like space. to come and and I might have need to top, um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner space. with us with our private executive chef that'll see be making get all these of our dates meals. To work. Huh? I said I need to see if I get these dates to work. I might need one of them experience passes. That's yeah, 
I mean, that's the names it. of the people that's going to be there just alone, just to be able to rub shoulders is just insane, let alone the value that you could get from, ex- you know, oh, my God, this is amazing, man. Uh, uh, yeah. So much good stuff in this thing, man. This sounds dope. Sounds, Thank you, man. Amazing, I, I, man. You're making me want to sign up for it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, this is crazy. Like, no, this is insane. I mean, we pretty much it at this point. I don't know if there's like anything else you want to add, you know, before we close out. Uh, but again, three day think tank.com. I can't say that fast. Three day think tank.com. There you go. See, I can't, I can't, I can't fuck with you, right? Yeah, the only, I'm saying tink. The only tank. thing I've, I think that would be like out there is if somebody's got, got a question like what, you know, what is it what is the experience like you said i might cry and it's like not everybody cries but right. you know as far as you you were asking what's the minimum threshold I don't, someone should only do this if you're genuinely interested in if you're at your wits end in your business and you're like what how do i finally get over this and you're willing to put yourself out there in front of like this is not uh an Basically, my, my coach likes to say everyone, the hardest journey for anyone to make is to go from not knowing what you don't know to knowing what you don't know. Wow. So there's something in your business right now that you want to improve. Yeah. And you, you're banging your head on your wall. The, you don't know, what, you don't know. what's wrong. Yeah. The only way to get to clarity is to get understand what it is that you don't know about the problem you're facing and getting that clarity sometimes has to do with childhood daddy issues and 100%. like stuff like that. So these are, I'm not trying to scare people away from doing no, this. No, no, that's real. No, I mean, look, if people ain't ready to do the work, I tell my clients the same thing. Right. And I tell myself the same thing. Like if you ain't ready to do the work, you just ain't ready to do the work. Because the reality is to go to a level you've never been before, you got to do things you ain't never did before. Yeah, That's just the way it go. You know what I mean? And if you haven't figured out how to get there and other people have, you should be willing to show up to receive whatever that may be. You know, And if you're not ready to do that, you ain't ready to go to the next level. It's just that simple. You know, yeah. I don't sugarcoat. You know, I just tell it like it is. You know what I mean? But when you're ready, you know, uh, like I had a mentor tell me before, like when you're ready, you know, the path will present itself. When yeah. you're really ready, it's almost like it'll just, it'll just, it'll just present itself out of nowhere. It's been hidden, yeah. foggy, and all of these things. But when you're really truly ready, it'll it'll present itself. Yep. You know. So sure. anyway, man, this has been amazing. Thank you. Um, Three day think tank.com. Go check that out. Uh, if you guys got any questions, you know, go there, hit him up. If you got any questions for me, obviously reach out as well. Um, that's pretty much all I have, man. I'm a rep. Um, yeah, my email address is on the, I think it's on the website, but it's david at simply the coolest.com. If you want to hit me up, don't put me on any lists or anything because that's actually my <laughs> direct <laughs> email. Damn. Right. Yeah. 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 Cool yeah. beans. Man, it has been a pleasure, my brother. Um, I'm looking Thank forward you. to us connecting again soon. And I truly, truly believe my audience is going to get a lot of value from this. So so thank you so much. Uh, until next time, guys, we out. Thank you.